In this video, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of clearing cache on your iOS 17 device, helping you optimize its performance and regain valuable storage space. If your iPhone or iPad device is feeling slow or buggy sometimes, then clearing the cache is a great solution, and I'll show you three different steps on how you can clear the cache. The first step is to open the settings on your device and then scroll down until you find the general section. Open it, and the next step is to tap on the iPhone storage. This is going to open a list of all the applications you have installed on your iOS device, and we will offload the apps on our phone. So you can open any application in here, and then tap on offload. This is going to clear the cache for that specific app and it will delete all the unnecessary data that your app may have. If the app has a lot of cache files and other stuff, that is going to slow down your iOS device, so I suggest you do this regularly and offloads as many apps as you can. After the app offloads you can simply reinstall it, and that will install a fresh new version of the application on your device. Make sure you offload apps regularly in order to get rid of those cache files and other data from your iPhone apps. The next step is to force restart our iPhone. That's pretty easy, and we'll force restart our device by pressing the volume up button, then press the volume down button, and then press and long hold the power button. Keep pressing until your iPhone turns off, but don't let go. You want to let go of the power button once you see the Apple logo appear on your screen. When the Apple logo appears, you can release the power button and wait for your device to turn on. This is going to restart all of the processes in your phone, it will restart the software and it will clear the RAM memory. And the last solution I have for you if you want to clear the cache on your iOS 17 device is to clear the cache from within the apps. Many applications on our iOS device have a clear cache button that should be somewhere in the settings of every device. For example, let's clear the cache from my TikTok application. Open the app, and then go over to your TikTok profile. We'll go to our TikTok settings, and once we get here we'll see this free up space option. And as you can see, I have over 100 megabytes of cache files in the TikTok app, so I can just tap on this clear cache button and that's gonna delete those files and make my app a little bit faster. You want to find the button in the settings for your other apps like Instagram, Snapchat, and so on. And when you do all of these steps, your cache on the iOS device will be cleared and your phone will be much faster and have a smoother performance. If this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one, and I'll see you soon.